number one. Who are you? I am Aspen Weisberger, daughter of Lily and Laurent Weisberger, and I am me. Two. Who is Meher Baba? He is my father's spiritual master. He is a believed avatar, and he was a great person. Why do you feel this way? I feel this way because my father believes this. I don't really have a connection to Meher Baba, but I know my father does very good. So that's a very deep question. Who am I? That's, there's a lot, a lot more to that one. <laughs> but I guess it's a short answer. Who is Mayor Baba? Boy, you're, you're. Uh <laughs> oh, I guess that's a very um, subjective question. Who is Mayor Baba to me, or who is Mayor Baba to the world? Yes. Yes. To which one? Just to both? Um, well, I can only answer who Mayor Baba is to me. Um, he is a very wise teacher. He is a aspect of the divine um, that has given a very beautiful example of how to live and move through this world and many, many wonderful teachings. Why do I feel this way? Um, I feel this way due to my own personal experiences with Mayor Baba, which have been very, very deep and very profound and very life-changing over many years. Um, so it's, yeah, my answer is based upon my own personal experiences. I am uh, an integral part of the universe. Mayor Baba is a spiritual master. About my being an integral part of the universe, I feel that we are all one and God alone is real and God is the nothingness that we are all part of. Uh, Mayor Baba being a spiritual master for the age is whatever he says seems to make a great deal of sense. We are all one, that's what I believe. And the bird is up there, and so your daughter gave me this, and it is a question which I'm supposed to answer. And they say he is, he is doing a little video. Well, this is actually the most difficult question, and for me it's also one of the easiest questions I've ever had because I'm Padmani. And Padmani means the recorder of history. So I just observe, observe. And then I tell stories, and that comes from looking what's happening and telling the histories of the people, or the stuff, or myself. You know that? And then I tell you stories too. Right. So this is all. This is, is that good? All right. So we can we get to the next one now? Is this number? So this is one. 
There's a one. Now we have a two. Open the two and see what it says on there. Who is Mayor Baba? Uh. Mayor Baba is also now my spiritual, not not yet, we first have to this one. You can have this. Mayor is also now my spiritual master who tells us also like Mom. extremely, okay Mom. you hold it because I know the question already. That you who, who told us also is almost like the first question which is in itself very very difficult and very very simple because Mayor Baba tells us that the only way to live is by loving everybody and loving yourself and loving everybody else. And of course that sounds very simplistic and there's more to it. But if we could already, if I could already live by that rule that I could love everybody and the bird is even and the bird is over there, you know, then that already would be a very good thing to do. So that is the answer to the second question. Mayor Baba is the guy who helps me to be a loving person. Okay? Now you can have this, and then we're going to open number three. Alright, let's see what we have here. Why do you feel this way? Because it is so fabulous and so wonderful that it's actually very, very, very easy. It's not this complicated thing. It is not this huge thing which you have to overcome. It's just very, very simple. Just be loving and be loved and be happy. No more. So that's why I feel that way. That I'm happy and content. How about that? Sounds good. Do I have to read the question? Um, my name is Seva and <laughs> I am a girl, <laughs> and I'm 13 years old. I feel this way because I want to know who Mayor Baba is. You do? And I don't know who he is. You do want to know? Yes. Thank you, Seva. You're welcome. <laughs> Question number one Who are you? How I feel right now? is that I'm love, remembering that I'm love. And right now, that's <laughs> pretty much sums it up. That's a good answer. Yeah. Question number two is, who is Meher Baba? Meher Baba is love who remembered that he and all of us are love. And so really it's my own love, you know, saying, hey, you're love. So he's helping me remember that that longing, that thing, that peace, that thing which I seek is 
by him ultimately. Why do you feel that way? Why do I feel that way? Yeah. I feel that way because... Well, to put it simply, that's been my experience. Um, that when it all comes down to... When I sit on this, and it all comes... And everything else sort of falls away and fades away what I've been left with is this deep, rich, expansive sense of love. And when um, I guess when when the story of who I am as my personality comes to that stillness I rest in that space of this presence of love. And I get that same feeling when I um, hear Meher Baba, see Meher Baba, or um, the experiences of Meher Baba. So it's that one and the same love. Thank you. You've got to answer three questions. Okay. First question is, who are you? Uh, I bless. Okay. Second question is, who is Meher Baba? Uh, Baba. Yeah. Who is he? Not Baba. Yeah. Uh-huh. Who is Baba? Uh, a goddess. Goddess? Uh-huh. Okay. And then, and why do you feel that way? Because I like Baba. That's a good reason. Uh -huh. Three questions. Who are you? Sarah. Who is Meher Baba? What is your favorite color? The avatar. Why do you feel that way? Because he told me he was. Who told you? Baba. Piper he told you that? You uh -huh. When? Yes, he In is. a dream. Oh. What was the dream? You know, the dream where he left me the note on the door. Who's you? Just tell me the dream. See, the dream when you and me and Mommy were at this hotel and we went into, we were leaving and then I forgot something in the hotel room and so then I went back to the hotel room and, oh God, are you taking a video? Oh no. I thought he was going to take a picture. Uh. <laughs> anyway. It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I went back to the hotel room, and I was all stressing out, you know, and then um, there was this little note, like, pinned to the door, and it just said, don't worry, be happy, and it was signed Mayor Baba, and so that made me realize that he was the avatar, right? Uh -huh. Who's the avatar? Mayor Baba. Yes. I saw that. I saw avatar. I did my avatar. The movie? Not Baba. Not Baba. The Avatar in the movie? In what movie? What Avatar did you see? Um, we had bad eyes and had... And, and, there, and there was Avatar in it. Okay. Like, and he was, he was super. Nice. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. and, and it was an adult movie, and I saw it. Wow. It was an adult movie? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But I didn't saw it the wall, I just saw it by my own. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. My own. Nice. No, you're okay. okay. Alright, so the first question is, who are you? I am Mayor Baba, disguised as Rachel Momberg. The same. <laughs> I am Meher Baba, disguised in a coat uh, with seven layers behind his colors. When the color move, I will know who I am. 
who is Meher Baba? Meher Baba is love incarnate. He's God in manifest form. He is our bridge to God and to freedom. He's love itself. God is, uh, Meher Baba is, is love, pure, 100% pure love, and there's nothing more I can say about it, because God is, if you look at everything outside of nature, that who He is, and He's a God come to love us, and He doesn't ask anything from us, just love. Why do you feel that way? Because that's how I experience Baba. That's how I experience Baba. It's, it's when I see Baba, or when I feel Baba, or if my hair goes up, I feel him closest into my heart. I know that's the way he is. He comes to me that way. When I look at something, a pretty bird or something like that, I say, nobody can, no human being can do this. Only God can do this. And God must be more than that. God must be pure love. I always understand that God is pure love to me in my heart. Why do you feel that way, Rachel, about what you said? Baba fills every cell of our being on every level the physical the emotional the mental the spirit with pure love and he loves us in a way that no one else can because we're not capable of loving the way he does but he brings us to that point at some time when the time is right. And he's the most beautiful being I've ever seen. Jay Thank Baba. you, guys. Jay Baba. Jay Baba. Jay Baba. First question is, who are you? Qui je suis? Yeah. Uh, I'm Baba un baba lover qui a, euh, qui a complètement euh, bouleversé sa vie depuis qu'il a rencontré Baba. Who are you? Mm. That's a very, very brilliant question. Second question. I would repeat Who the is answer that because I don't know. Who is Meher Baba? Wow. <laughs> C'est une vaste question. Meher Baba, c'est... Euh, c'est quelqu'un qui commence euh, depuis quelque temps à, à omnubiler ma pensée. C'est-à-dire que chaque fois que je fais quelque chose, chaque fois que je lis quelque chose, chaque fois que j'écoute une musique, il y a toujours Baba en filigrane. Euh, Mère Baba, c'est à la fois un, un compagnon, un guide, euh, mais c'est aussi un... Et je sais que des fois j'ai des, des bouleversements dans ma vie qui sont dus du à Baba mais que j'en ai besoin c'est ma, ma leçon pour avancer et pour aller plus loin and third question why do you feel this way I don't, I don't understand What? your feeling about Baba Yes. Why do you feel like that? But you. Why do you feel this way about Baba? My 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 my, my home feeling. My my by myself. Yeah. So you feel something for Baba. Yes. Why? Why? It's not why. It's uh, it's natural for me. Mm. It's natural. Uh, when when I am quand j'étais plus jeune. Euh, à, euh, à 8 ans, j'avais 
un, une intuition qu'il n'y avait pas le dieu musulman, le dieu bouddhiste, le dieu hindou. Pour moi, il n'y avait qu'un dieu universel. Alors, évidemment, avec la religion catholique, j'étais un peu montré du doigt, mais c'était évident pour moi. Et quand j'ai rencontré Baba, et quand j'ai fait les deux, le, le dernier pèlerinage de 2009, ça a vraiment été euh, la, la révélation totale, quoi. I only have three questions. Can't you do three questions? Yeah, but they're the three hardest questions in creation. No. It, yes, I've heard them. <laughs> I've had a free, I've had a free run. <laughs> the first one is who are you? Who are, who are, you? Who are you? Bruce Milburn. <laughs> Thank you. Nice and easy. Who, who is Meher Baba? Well, now, now that's an interesting question. Who is Meher Baba? Well, the truth of the matter is, I have no experience of who he is. But having met Don Stevens, who is a, a good high caliber, one has to assume that his managing director was of a higher caliber, and that's quite sufficient for me. Third question, why do you feel that way? It, it's, it's purely my inheritance. My disc is set to search. End of story. On what level are you asking this? What's the question? The question is, who are you? Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering what level the question is wanting. No answer. <laughs> <laughs> the deeper level. Well, who I am is the same as who everyone is, um, which is God. But I'm not I'm not always experiencing that. Um, but I know that I am that. Who is Meher Baba? Hmm. Um. Well, I know what I've read, and I know what I feel. Um. Meher Baba said he was the God-man, and he was the Avatar, and um, I, I believe that because, or, or what I experience is that Baba is my home inside, and I always come back to that, so um, Baba is the one who I um, am always referring to internally. Why do you feel this way? Um, it's, it just is. I'm not sure how it became that way, but even when I've doubted Baba on a mental level. Um, that knowing just resides within me, and I have I have looked into it and I have questioned it. It's not like it's just this, um, you know, thing that other people have told me. But it but it exists inside of me. Baba exists inside of me that way and. So that's why I feel this way. Thank you, Marlena. You are welcome. This question. Who am I? <laughs> uh, well, my name is Emily Sullivan, and my birth middle name is Emily Ann Sullivan, and my mother wanted to name me Emily Rose, 
so I go by Emily Rose Sullivan. So that's my name in this current body. <laughs> Second question. Who is Meher Baba? Meher Baba is heart. Meher Baba is love. Why do you feel this way? Question number three. I feel this way because I have no reason. I feel this way because I know it in my heart. And he's shown it to me. <laughs> oh, I need a do-over. <laughs> One. Oh, I have to read the question. Who are you? I'm not sure who I am, but uh, I think I might be this guy who's trying to figure out who I am. Who is Meher Baba? Meher Baba may just be, I suspect, who I really am. Why do you feel this way? Boy, I don't think there's any logical explanation for any of this, but uh, it's just what is it, it is what it is, and this is what I experience. That's good. <laughs> that's very, um, you know, that's quite a shock to get a question like that. I ask that of every day in my life. That's the question of all questions. Finally, it should end that I am God in human form. <laughs> yes. Question number two. That's not a good answer, is it? That was wonderful. Question number two. But then I have to uh, then, uh, add something to that. There's a trailer to that question, which is, uh, because everyone is God in uniform, because God alone exists. He is the creator, preserver, um, transformer, creator, preserver, destroyer, and ever-present presence. He's never away. He's always here. Yes, that is. good. You got it back. Thank you. Question number two is, who is Meher Baba? Oh, well, can't you wait a minute while I put my thoughts together? Of course. Um, well, who is Meher Baba? Well, first of all, who is not Meher Baba? That's one answer. Since he is creator, preserver, destroyer, uh, sustainer, and uh, never acts, omnipresent, omniscient, um, omnipresent, omniscient, and what else? There's three, uh, three uh, omnis, ever present, ever knowledgeable, and uh, Omnipotent. Potent. Omnipotent. Omnipotent. Omnipresent. Omniscient. He never leaves. Never leaves. Eternal. Infinite and eternal. Well, I don't know. That's all I can think of. <coughs> Why do you feel that way? Yeah, well, well, you know, um, I'm very thankful that that's grace. Uh, uh, grace is because I feel that way. Grace is undeserved. Uh, grace is God's uh, uh, God's greatest gift, and uh, I f I feel that. Um, I have to, uh, it's just because if I didn't feel that way, uh, then I'd uh, be um, always, um, uh, you know, without hope and without love, and um, 
I need to feel that way because uh, the uh, it's um, the very energy by which I live from day to day. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You can't live without love. Mm. And I love God. Mm. And what I conceive is God. Well, give me some better answers. Who are you? My name is Joshua Avram Epstein, and I love God. Second question is, who is Meher Baba? Meher Baba, to me, is a good friend. I believe him to be God. Um, Baba is, I, Baba to me is just, Baba, I mean, it's a wonder, it's, it's, uh, as, as in, um, anything else, um, I believe in to be God, I've had, I've actually had, had, uh, visions of Baba, I mean, dreams of Baba, I've also had, for that matter, I've had visions and dreams of Jesus, I mean, for, for me, for a long time, Jesus and Baba, there, there was like a, even though I'm, and I'm also Jewish too, so 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 uh, Jesus and Baba to me for, for a long time was was like kind of difficult to. Uh, it was kind of like I would pivot against each other, and as of like around two years ago, just just I really came to this firm conclusion that there it's, it's like God is one and the same. You know, it's the same. I mean, I, I wrestled that actually for a long time, and um, and of course. Um, And Bob is just, just for me, just, just everything right now. Why do you feel that way? It's, it's, um, it's his presence. It, it's, um, it's, um, wherever, wherever, actually, I mean, I've been to India, but wherever I am, it's just, I, I just feel, I just feel Bob's presence. You know, that's, it's just one of those, one of those things that you can't just, you can't put into words. I mean, it's just, it's just like, why? Why do you love your um, your mother? <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, why? It just is. Thank you. So the first question is, who are you? More than just Catherine. Can't do it. <laughs> One. Oh, I have to look at them. Oh my. Really? <laughs> Wasn't prepared for that question. <laughs> um. Okay. Um, sorry, it's taking so long. <laughs> well, <laughs> it may take a while now. <laughs> I might spend the rest of my life right here. <laughs> oh, okay, good enough. Okay. Well, I, uh, you know, I, I take Baba to to be who he claims he is, the avatar of the age, you know, God in human form, because, um, because I can feel 
the godhood of him from my experiences of you know his presence at the Myrtle Beach Center in India places where he had been and those those experiences just you know just confirmed for me inside you know and, and the other internal processes that I've been going through personally, spiritually, uh, have been confirming, you know, that conviction for me. Mm. So, um, yeah, I kind of kind of touched on it there last time, but um, uh, it's just that. It's just a connection, like connecting to him, to me, is connecting to to God, the universe, you know, the, the um, I, you know, I experience Godhood through him, and, you know, that, when you feel it, you know it, and that's, you know, it's a personal thing, and I, I can't tell someone else that that's how it is. They have to feel it. Alright. <laughs> Gotta take this. Hold that? No, open it up. Open it up, huh? Number one. Who are you? Peter Jacobson. Number two. Who is Maha Baha? That's Baha Faith, correct? That's actually Meher Baba. Meher Baba. And it's different than the Baha'i. Oh, it is? Yep. I, then I don't know. It's okay. Then I don't know. And the third one is related to the second one. Why do you feel this way? <laughs> Be because <laughs> I'm ignorant. <laughs> How's that for an answer? <laughs> I don't believe you because you said you had philosophical questions. Yes, yeah, I am ignorant. <laughs> What's the philosophical? Well, it's, a, it's about taxes. Okay. Okay, first question is, you don't have to answer, just yes and no. Okay. Do you know how much money the government got from, or how much money you received or had to pay extra for taxes for last year or this year? Extra? Either pay more in or that you received from the government. You mean did I get a refund? Right. This year or last year? Either or. Uh, last year I got a refund, this year I owe money. Okay. So then the next question is, how much money did you give the government overall for the whole year? Uh, last year or this year? Either year. Yes or no. Yes or no is all I need. Yes. Okay. Without looking it up, you know. Do I know? Yeah. Without having to go look it up. I know roughly. Yeah. That's my that's my theory. So everybody knows how much they can either get from them as a refund or they have to pay extra, but hardly anybody knows how much they actually gave the government for the whole year. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yep. Hardly anybody knows that can answer that without going to look it up. Right. Is there <laughs> another one? And then, then my theory is I want to make a petition to have all elections done the first Tuesday after April 15th. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on how you feel that, about your taxes? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have. That's my question. Thank you. <laughs> Who are you? My name is Aspen Weisberger, and I'm in front of all over the world. Who is Meher Baba? Meher Baba is a spiritual master that many people consider to be the latest avatar, and I think an amazing and wonderful person, and an aspect of God. Why do you feel this way? Because 
so the way I was raised, I was raised um, with recognizing my Baba as a spiritual master, and because I believe he is. Shoes and set. The other side. Who are you? <laughs> Where does shoes and stuff come in here? Shoes are my fetish. Shoes are my life. Shoes run my life. Shoes are an addiction. Shoes are fun. Shoes are painful. Bare feet are better. Do I pick another one? The other side. Who are you? I don't know. Who am I? I'm a happy, newly single, middle aged, old woman, lady, princess. Um, animal lover. Animals come first in my life. In that order. Animals, me, men, um, family, above. Um, confused. Impulsive. Monkey, fun loving, caring, giving, spend it. <coughs> Map it downtown. Key. Who is Mayor Baba? A religious leader from the Eastern culture. Don't know very much about him. Know that he brings many much happiness and joy to my family. Um, is very powerful. Um, I'm not knowledgeable at all about this. Why do I feel this way? Because I'm uninformed and uneducated about this subject. So all I know is from what I've heard and from what I've seen. And I feel strongly about my roots as a Jewish person and therefore I, I feel like blocked out other options. That's it. Thank you, Terry. Okay, question number one. Okay. You ready? Who are you? Who am I? She's our... Who am I? Good question. I know I'm not who I believe or experience myself to be. And I know that even at my deepest experience of knowing who I am, it's still not who I believe to be. So who I am, I'm not sure. I believe I'm God but I don't have that experience yet. In my being right now, I experience myself as Allison, but feel very ready to know myself as more. That's who I am right now.
Who is Mayor Baba? Hmm. Who is Mayor Baba? Mayor Baba to me is is the man who at all times knows his being in a core way where there's nothing nothing else to be. He's complete and he is the man who came as a human or the human that came as a man to be able to prepare me for my soul's journey towards him and how he is and how he knows himself to be. And uh, that's who I see Mayor Bob as being. Why do you feel that way? I feel that way because of my experiences. I've had several experiences in this life that have showed me my illusions and have given me a flavor, a taste of something much, much greater, a greater way of being than I ever fathomed being able to experience in the human form. And my experiences with Baba always take me into a deeper place within and in my heart and in my mind it feels as if Baba is the being who I can trust at this point in my existence and I feel blessed to have Baba in my life Thank you Allison Who are you. Um, um, hmm. Let's see. A cosmically placed being on the earth with a material body an energy running through my veins, blood to my veins. See a mind body complex. Spiritual being having a human experience. And an essence far beyond description. is always placed within the mystical body of God, even when I don't know it and realize it. Something like that. Perfect. One. Who is Meher Baba? <gasps> oh, mm, my new but old beloved father. spiritual being who's now disembodied, who I sometimes feel love from when I ask him questions and connect with him. And according to my friend Laurent, he's an avatar and somebody who guides spiritually in a masterful way. And beyond that, I have no idea who Mayor Baba is. <laughs> Why do you feel that way? Why do I feel which way? That right. I don't know who he is? Mm -hmm. Because I feel that I've only touched the tip of the iceberg. Mm. And I haven't spent a lot of time dialoguing with him or reading his works. Mm -hmm. So, for me, the relationship with him is very, very, very young. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel qualified to say who he is. Mm -hmm. Thank 
to soy. Three questions. First question is, who are you? Who am I? I am... Um, I am Lee Barrientos. I, uh, I am, I guess, a student of the world. And I say that because, I don't know, I'm, I feel like I'm still learning, still experiencing a lot in life. So I'm, I'm merely an entity, um, I guess, in search of whatever there is to find. Um, so, who am I? I am, I'm, I'm a musician. I am a lover. Uh, I am sometimes a really great person, and sometimes I'm not the best person. But um, I am, I guess I am who I am. I am, uh, I'm just another guy, I guess. So, yeah. Me. Second question. Second question. Who is Mayher Baba? Mayher Baba is. Um, well, that's always a fun one. Because, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. When people pose that question to me, um, it's always really a matter of perspective of who is this person who's asking. And so, if the question is, who is Mayher Baba, with no. Um, bias as to who's asking, I guess. Hmm. Mayor Baba is the Godman. He's hmm. Jesus, Muhammad, Krishna. He's um, uh, he is the Pravati Gar, um, perfect one. I I see him in my life as someone who um, strives to be as mindful of a person as possible um, and carries no judgments with him wherever he goes. And for me, that's, uh, that's a really powerful trait that is really hard to find in most human beings. So, um, Mara Baba is um, he's a perfect master, I guess. So. Why do you feel that way? I feel that way, personally, having not ever met the man, um, because his story, his life, I guess, has um, played in to how I choose to live my life in a lot of ways. Um, I, I, I guess I feel that way mostly, you know, because of my upbringing, you know, growing up in a father family, but just in my experiences in life and when I've had so many doubts um, about just everything and anything, um, Mayor Baba has brought a lot of that into perspective for me. Um, just making sure that I know um, that, well, you know, nothing ever really will make sense. Um, there is, I guess, an ultimate meaning um, to the world. And to our experience, and, um, I guess Mayor Baba could be that that man if I want him to be, um, or he can show me um, what it is that I find value in my life. So that's why I feel that way. I guess. So. That was awesome, Lee. Yeah. Awesome. First question is, who are you? Who am I? Is the question. <laughs> well, I suppose um, could get really reflective about who am I, um, or. 
I'm a good friend. I'm a mentor. I am motivated to learn. Um, I want to be productive. So I also am relaxed, calm. But in my head, I'm probably not that. <laughs> my calm exterior belies a crazy interior. Um, I'm spiritual. I'm healthy. reflect on that more. Okay, I think that's probably all I am at this moment, <laughs> this very moment. Second question is, who is Meher Baba? Ooh, who is Meher Baba? He's the um, incarnation of uh, God in man form. He is the mover of spiritual life. He is the avatar, which I guess by definition is God-man. Um, he's a keeper of my dreams, which is my real place. who he is to me. Why do you feel that way? Well, um, in the dream world I um, have experienced him and it's quite moving. Um, and that was, that was not even pining for that to happen. Mayor Baba for me um, is sort of the director, the path maker for my spiritual life. And I've just been moved by his message. That's why I feel that way. Thank you, Rich. You're welcome. All right, three questions for you. First question is, who are you? Who am I? Yeah. I am... I am... That's a really funny question. <laughs> for who I am because I just am. And I'm here and I'm now and I'm light and I'm, I'm part of God and and I'm I'm in humor. That's who I am. <laughs> Who is Meher Baba? Meher Baba is God in human form. And he's part of everything and everywhere and in everyone. And Meher Baba is, is 
the essence of light. He's the source of light. He's, he's Meher Baba. He's Christ come again. He's, he's my love, my one true love. Why do you feel that way, Cynthia? Because I know him. I know him personally in my heart. I've seen him and I've felt him and I hear him and Meher Baba. Thank you. Second question. Uh, Who is Mayor Baba? As I understand it, where have you been? He was. Uh, he was similar to uh, Jesus. Where have you been? I think he was. The impression he made on people was, uh, was profound. And he was. Uh, I guess a very benevolent, you know, kind spirit. Yeah, I have a hallway. He apparently that had that impression on a lot of people. A lot of people. So why do you feel that way about? Uh, all I have to go on is other people's uh, experience and perspective. And, um, you know, from what I uh, from what I understand is um, he was a rare individual. You know, somebody that um, that. Uh, really made an impression on people that, that crosses uh, generations. I've never met anybody like that, so it's hard for me to imagine what it's like, and um, I can only take other people's experience um, from that. Thank you, Rich. So the first question is, who are you? I am not sure yet. <laughs> I am still on the path of finding the real me. I can tell you who my ego is, but I'm still finding piece by piece who the real I am. Second question is, who is Meher Baba? Meher Baba is God, incarnated as a human being, my understanding. One of the most infinite of power and intelligence and the one who speaks to me, my father. The third question is, why do you feel that way? That's harder to answer. It is a feeling. How do you, do you, how do you describe how you feel when you like something or don't like something? It touches the heart. It fills me with love. I can't... The words don't adequately express my feelings of fullness and joy now knowing Mayor Baba and his words. Thank you, Shay. Thank you. Uh, no the first question is, who are you? I'm Terry Adams. And in reality, I'm God, and I'm one with Baba.
but I'm not experiencing it right now, but that is the goal. And I, my goal is to love him and to please him and eventually become merged in his divine ocean of love. Second question is, who is Meher Baba? He is that one deep within you that has provoked you to ask that question. He is your true self. He is love personified. Why do you feel that way, Terry? He, because I'm no longer me, I'm his, and I, he is everything, and I have no other choice but to feel that way. <laughs> I love him. Anyway. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? So the first question is, who are you? It's the second question. <laughs> <laughs> second question. <laughs> Who is Meher Baba? Well, it's it's fascinating finding out about God, and I am still finding out, and I guess I'll always be finding out. Uh, and it's. Um, You know, it's just such an incredible, it's an incredible life because you just, it is your life with God, and especially now that he's come so recently. And then, so why do you feel that way? Why do I feel that way? Because that's just, that's how I feel. And I guess I'm finding out who I am when you ask me. Who who am I? I am finding out who I am, and a lot of who I'm not <laughs> is a lot of who I who I am not involved in it. You know, um, hmm. You th you think you uh, though went through a lot of reincarnations. You know, you could never answer <laughs> yeah. that. Prob probably, yeah. Eight million four hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Baba said eighty-four lakhs. So. Is that? Does that mean as a human being that, and then, and then all the plant uh, life and everything? I'm before. not dead sure. Thank you, Rosalie. Okay, Baba. Mm -hmm.